Welcome. We are in section two of chapter 22 now, and we are starting at line 56. Tandem Yanitor, at last the doorkeeper. Fores Aperet opens the doors. Et le polomum foris in imbre stantem with it. And he um, sees Tlepolemus standing, stantem, um, in the door in the rain, or outside in the rain might be a better way to translate it here, because foris as an adverb is best translated out of doors, right, or outside. Foros can also mean outside, but foros with an A-S ending means outside, as in you're going outside. Foris means outside in the sense you are in the out of doors, if that makes sense. So here, uh, again, one more time, that et, et lepolemum foris in imbrem stantem with it, and he sees telepoloma standing outside foris in the rain. Canes eratus, an angry dog, dente sostendit, shows his teeth, all right? Acremit, and he growls. Fremit is used of, of kind of low rumbling animal noises, so like dogs um, growling or bears roaring or, or lions, things like that. Okay, so acremit, and he growls. Nequero nor indeed tabularem mordere potest is he able to bite the door um, not the doorkeeper tabularis is the messenger to bite the messenger quod catena retinator because he is held back he is retained by the chain all right janitor the doorkeeper says kawe beware caneste mordebit the dog will bite you. We get it. We're getting a few of these future verbs here. This is a Bobby Boo one. So more day bit. Seek Yanitor, so the doorkeeper. Hominem intrantem de cane feroci monet. Uh, warns or advises monet the entering man or entering person, hominem intrantem, about the ferocious dog. Cane feroci. Tlepolemus in limine resistens, Tlepolemus stepping back on the threshold. Retine cane minquit, says, hold your dog back. Nole eum solvere, don't let him loose. Nec vero opus es me monere de cane. Nor indeed is it necessary to warn me about the dog de cane. Ego anim legere skio, for I know how to read. Now, in English, we just add the how. Um, in Latin, it's just skio, legere, know to read, I know to read. Um, but in English idiom, we want to say know how to read. So, for I know how to read. Tabularius solum intra limina spicit. Looks at in the messenger, tabularius, looks at the um, ground, solum. Notice the word for ground has the short O, the word that means only, solum, which we had earlier. Um, that one has a long O. So the tabularis, the messenger, looks at the ground, intralimen, inside of the doorstep. Ubi kawe canum scriptum es, where kawe canum has been written. Infra imaginem canes ferocis beneath or under the image of a ferocious dog. Okay, so apparently in their threshold they have this kind of mosaic of the dog with the message um, that is famous from Pompeii. All right. Neque haec imago, neque canis verus me teret, inquit. He says, inquit, Neither does this image, nor does the real or true dog, Canis Verus, frighten me. <laughs> Et propius ad canem acedit, and he approaches closer to the dog. Mane foris, inquit janitor. The doorkeeper says, stay outside, mane foris. Noli ad hunc canem acedere, 
don't approach this dog. Don't um, come towards this dog. Yamte Monui, I've already warned you. <laughs> What's going to happen? All right, here we go. Tabalore Suero, but the messenger. Quam quam seek a yanetore monitus est. Although he was so warned by the doorkeeper. So notice monitus est, perfect passive again. A yanetore by the doorkeeper. Alterum gradim. Ad canem versus facit. He makes another step, alterum gradum, or a second step, you could also say, towards the dog. Set eke, but look, canes in eum solit. The dog jumps on him. Catenem rumpens, breaking the chain. Wow, this is a crazy strong dog, or that's like an old rusted chain. I don't know, something's wrong. Homo teretus, the frightened man. Ex ostio cedere conator tries conator to um, go out of the door. Cedo uh, cedere. Cedo cedere, you could say move or go for this. Uh, it's got a lot of compounds like ex cedere, dis cedere, a cedere, and so on. But the base meaning of cedo cedere is to move from one place to another. Sometimes it's translated as yield or give way uh, or even concede in a more metaphorical sense. But here we just simply mean he's trying to move back out the door, right? So the frightened man, Homo teratus, tries to go out the door. Said canis iratus, but the angry dog, palium eius dentibus prehendit et tenet. The angry dog grabs and holds his Polyum with his teeth, dentibus. Now, if you can look in the picture, you might guess what the polyum is. Polyum is one of several Latin words that could be translated as uh, maybe cloak or cape. Um, sagum would be another one. So, polyum here is his cape or his cloak here. Hey, canis me mordit. Ow, the dog is biting me. Exclama Tabalarius shouts out the messenger. Qui yam neque recedere, neque procedere audit, who now it is daring neither to go back nor to go forward. Okay, so here we get other compounds of that cadere verb for move. Recedere to go back, to recede, procedere to go forward, to proceed. All right, canis fremens. The barking dog, or the growling dog, we might rather say, Eum loco se movere non sinit, does not allow him to move himself loco from the place. Janitor ridens, the doorkeeper laughing. Queen procedes inquit, says, Why aren't you going forward? Why aren't you advancing? Why aren't you coming forward? No le resistere. Don't stand back. Ego te intrare sino. I'm letting you enter. Yanuam aperui. I've opened the door. Procede in wilam. Go on forth into the villa. <laughs> and of course, he's being rude, um, probably because the, the, the messenger had been kind of rude to him, right? So, seek janitor, so the doorkeeper, virum teritum deridit, mocks or derides, uh, to, ride, to deride somebody is to make fun of them, right? So the doorkeeper makes fun of the terrified man. Id facilius est dictu quam factu, oh, here's some more of these ablative supines with the U ending, right? That is easier, facilius. Facilius is a comparative adjective here. That is easier dictu to say quam factu than to do. Inquit tabularius, says the messenger. Atque alterum gradum facre audit. And he dares, make an dares to make another step. Sed canis statim in pedes posteriore surget. But the dog immediately um, kind of rises surget. 
onto its, let's just say its back feet or rear feet. Uh, you could say rear legs in English, perhaps. Atque pedes priores and its front feet in pectore eius ponit. It puts on its chest. Okay. Tabularius toto corpore tremens. The messenger trembling on his whole body, or we might say through his whole body, uh, in his whole body, throughout his whole body, something like that in English. Ex osio cadit. Um, moves out the door. Sic canis eum e vila pellet. So the dog is pushing him out of the villa. Ramo canim. Take your dog away. Move your dog away. Inquit ile, says he, meaning, of course, the tabularius, the messenger. Iste canis ferox, that ferocious dog of yours, me intrare non sinit, is not letting me enter. Janitor eum tremere animadvertit, iterumque deridit. The doorkeeper notices him trembling and again mocks him or derides him, makes fun of him. Quid trimis? What are you trembling at? Hicine canis te teruit. Is this dog frightened you? Or has this dog frightened you? Teruit is a perfect verb, as we can tell from the U-I-T ending. Has this dog frightened you? Oh, he's really being mean now. Telepolemus says, No le putare me. Don't think that I, ab isto cane teretumese, have been frightened by that dog of yours. Si tremo, if I'm trembling, non propter canem ferocem, sed propter imbrim frigidum tremo. I'm trembling not because of the ferocious dog, but because of the cold rain. <laughs> Cute little attempt here, I think. Admite me subtectum. Let me in under the roof. Janitor, amabote. Doorkeeper, I will love you. Amabote. Now that might sound a little strange. It's an idiom in Latin. Amabote literally means I'll love you. But it's like, if you do this, I'll be your best friend, right? In other words, it's kind of a way of saying please. Just do this, please. I'll love you for it, right? Winky istum canem frokim. Chain up that ferocious dog of yours. Cur eum solisti. Why have you released him? Why have you loosed him? Tabulores enim. Canem a janitore solutum esse arbitrator. For the messenger, Tabularius, thinks, arbitrator, that the dog was released, solutum esse, that's a perfect passive infinitive. Thanks that the dog was released, salutum esse, by the doorkeeper. And of course we know, because the narrator told us that it broke the chain. Janitor catenam manu prehendit. The doorkeeper um, grabs the chain in his hand. Canemque paulum a tabulario remoit. And he uh, moves the dog back a bit from the messenger. No le arbitrare inquit me canem soviswe. Don't think that I have released the dog. Canis ipse catenum suum rupit. The dog himself burst his own chain or broke his own chain. Ecce catena rupta. Look at the broken chain. And Tlepolemus says, Num canis catenum feriam rumpere potes. Surely a dog is not able to break an iron chain? Id non credo. I don't believe that. Ad certe westim skindere potuit. But he certainly was able to um, tear or rip uh, my clothes. Westim. With this ne palu meum novum, do you see my new cape, my new cloak? Quod nuper magno pretio emi, which I recently bought for a large price, Skisumese a cane tuo has been rent or torn by your dog. Janitor, the doorkeeper says, Istud palum non es magni preti. That, that cloak, that cape is not of great value. Neque id nuper imtum credo. 
nor do I believe it was recently bought. Said Quitu Winisti, but what have you come for? Nun quis tecum fares? Surely you don't ha carry something with you, do you? Or you're not carrying anything with you, are you? All right, and then Tlepolemus says, Stulte rogitas janitor. You're asking stupidly, doorkeeper. Now, we would probably just say, that's a stupid question, door doorman. Um, so stulte, adverb, stupidly. Rogitas, the verb. You're asking stupidly, doorkeeper. Nam yam tibi dixi, for I have already told you tabularium me esse, that I am a messenger, right? And what does a tabularius do? Well, they carry, you know, epistulae or tabulae, tablets or letters of some other type, right? Quid tabularius fere arbitraris, aureus ne janitoribus? Okay, so now he's jibing back at the doorman. What do you think, um, messengers, tabularios, carry, Fere? Aureosne janitoribus, gold coins for doorkeepers? Profecto nos aurum non ferimus. Surely, absolutely, profecto, we are not carrying gold. Janitor, the doorkeeper, says... Vos skilicit epistolas fertis. You all, of course, carry letters. All right. Skilicit, um, which I translated as of course, it's one of my favorite Latin words. You could also translate it as sort of duh. Duh, you all carry letters, right? Obviously, you all carry letters. Telepolemus then says, Recte dicis. You are speaking correctly. Epistulam afero ad Lucium Iulium Balbum. I am bringing a letter to Lucius Julius Balbus. Hocene ero tuo nomines? Is this the name to or for your master? Uh, we might just say, is this your master's name? But notice ero is actually the dative case. Janitor, the doorkeeper says, est, it is. Queen mihi istam epistulam das. Uh, why don't you give me that letter of yours? And so Palmas says, Prius winki canem et cinema intrare. First, um, chain up your dog and let me enter. Noli iterum me foras in imbrim pelere. Don't push me outside again into the rain. It's like, dude, it's raining hard. Please let me in out of there. Janitor, the doorkeeper. Posquam canem winks it after he um, chained up the dog. Non ego inquit. Um, not I, he says. Said he canis te foras populet, but this dog pushed you outside. Nole narare te a janitore foras pulsum esse. Don't, um, don't tell stories. Don't, don't go making up tells. Don't say, we could just um, say in a more normal way, but narari often has to do with telling in the sense of, uh, well, as a narrator in English. So don't be telling stories that you were um, pushed outside by the doorkeeper. Cane winkto. There's another ablet of absolute. Cane is the ablet of third declension. And then winkto um, from this new verb for binding or tying or chaining, right? So with the dog chained up, cane winkto, um, which essentially means the same thing as after chaining up the dog, but literally with the dog chained up. Tabularius tandem intrat, the uh, messenger at last enters. Epistulamque ostendit janitori. And he shows a letter to the doorkeeper. Qui statim opisulam prehendit, who immediately grabs the letter, et in atrium ad dominum suum fert, and he carries it into the atrium to his master. All right. And this comes to the end of our chapter. And you'll see here that in this chapter, because we keep dealing with these supines, which come from the fourth principal part, um, in the margin, not only do they give 
the um, present and the perfect active infinitives for the all these new verbs, but they also give us that fourth principal part with the um ending, which is like that accusative ending for the supine. So, for example, winkire is to chain or to bind. Winksise to have chained or to have bound, and then winktum is this new. Um, well, there are two things winktum could be. It can be chained or bound, right? As we had kane winkto over here in line 119 with the dog chained up. But then we can also just use winktum with a um ending or winktu with the, the ablative long u ending. And then it's the supine and we translate it to bind, to chain up. All right. So I hope you learned a few things about the new supines, both the ablative kind with the U ending and the UM ending, accusative type of supines. Um, and again, there's some new vocabulary here in this chapter, but basically the supines are the new thing. All right. Best of luck till next time. Bonum fortunum. Valete omnes.